Welcome, one and all, to the show. And it's time to meet our top buzzer, Buzz. Thank you, Gregory. Buzz is coming. Look busy. Everyone prepare yourselves for Buzz. Press your buzzer now if you want to. If you've done this before, you can use your existing profile. If not, scroll to New Profile by using the color button. If you've already got a profile, you should see it here. If you need to make a new one, press the green button to go back. If you want to, you can make some changes to your profile. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's play. What light do yonder podium breaks? Contestants, but who's playing? <laughs> High Tower, top dog last time. Let's see how we do today. Reg, back for another game and looking to settle a few scores, no doubt. Mo, found out what bottom tastes like in our last game. Today, it will be minty fresh. Wes, hmm, I don't think we've met before. Are you ready? Then let's get started. Wes, I like fresh meat. So, as our newbie, I'm gonna let you do the picking for us. That's the signal. Unleash the trim. No time trials, no bonuses. Just answer correctly and I'll give you points. This is Point Builder. Use the colored buttons to answer. Fast or slow, it doesn't matter, as long as you select one before the time runs out. Our first question. Hoo-hoo, it's exciting. Jack Black, Naomi Watts, and Adrian Brody were the main players in which blockbuster? You're on your own in your thinking. <laughs> Wes! Hey, if you didn't know this stuff, why choose it? Which film was elevated by the presence of Christian Bale, Heath Ledger, and Michael Caine? Hightower! Congratulations! For the 20th time ever, you've given a completely wrong answer. Which film features Steve McQueen, Richard Attenborough, and James Garner? Whoa, Nelly! Answers galore! Is anyone right? <laughs> some of you right, some not so right. Which film starred Al Pacino, Marlon Brando, and Diane Keaton? I know why you're taking so long. You just want to bask in my awesomeness. <laughs> Other news, the round's biggest flake <laughs> just got one right. Which film brought Renee Zellweger, yeah. Catherine Zeta-Jones and Richard Gere together? <laughs> oh, 
Wes, you're alive. Thank heavens. My daddy? Scoring so tight. I think I'm a close round. Ben Stiller, Cameron Diaz, and Lee Evans all starred in which film? And the lead changes for the second time in this round. In which runaway success did Meryl Streep, Pierce Brosnan, and Colin Firth co-star? Harmonious answering on this one. Oh, you people are hard! Which acclaimed film featured Sean Penn, Kevin Bacon, and Tim Robbins? Drink them up because they were the last points of the round. Okay, first round down. Let's see how you did. Sitting in the cheap seats. It's a tie for position two. And lounging on top of the pile, Mo! Time to start dealing from the bottom of the pack. Come on, Lastorino. Choose for us. All right, here we go. to defy the laws of physics by stopping time itself. Be speedy to score large in. Stop the clock. Remember, people, fast answers will win you more points. Pig in a... That one couldn't have been closer. Mo, the lead's yours, but don't get cocky, cause it's not by much. Kung Fu. <laughs> Two in a row, peeps. Good stuff. Joseph and the amazing Technicolor, what? Hightower, is the lead about to be yours? Hightower, you own that question. Feel free to mock the others. Little Red Riding. So fast, so right. I love you people. Edgar Allen. Not your finest answers, people. Jonathan Livingston. There's a lot of answers there. Will any of you get to gloat? <laughs> Our current loser showing defeat will not be accepted. A picture paints a thousand. <laughs> you folks have got it, and I don't even know what it is, but you got it. 
Francis Ford. Yes. Don't worry, you wrongies. You can't win them all. Okay, round over. It's time to reveal who's top and who's a flop. At the bottom of the board. Third. Second. And still in charge of this game, Mo! Hightower, what do you like the look of? Choose one. Sensations of the silver screen headed your way. You can't stand the heat. This game's not for you. Get ready for a scorcher. This is Boiling Point. Answer correctly to gain heat. First to the top wins. Which movie drove Marlon Brando to his first Oscar nomination? <laughs> Next question, please. Which former actor took on the real-life role of U.S. President in 1981? Okay. Nice. Who declined Marlon Brando's Best Actor Oscar for him in 1972? Can you feel the heat, guys? Who wasn't sorry to win his first Oscar for the 1992 movie, Unforgiven? This is intense! Which debonair movie star told all in his autobiography, The Moon's a Balloon? Almost there! What surname links the Best Actor Oscar winner for 1979 and 2005? Too tricky? Try this! Which actor has played Malcolm X and Reuben Hurricane Carter? played Stuart Tarleton in the 1939 film Gone with the Wind. Come on, peeps. You can do it. Which British director cooked up the award-winning Slumdog Millionaire? What is the nickname of the statuette given to the winner of an Academy Award? Stop it! Get something right! 
Which actress won a tuneful Oscar for playing June Carter, the wife of Johnny Cash? Okay, first in with the correct answer wins. Mel Gibson's Braveheart was about which Scottish leader? Time to cool off, people. We have a winner! <laughs> All right, everyone. Stop what you're doing. Let's see who's winning. Looking up at the lead. Third. Second, and leaping the scory summit like a mountain goat, Hightower! Loser, be a chooser, go! Get down on it, we want questions! It's the round for the digitally enhanced. Buzz in quick to win, fastest finger. Don't forget, the quicker the draw, the bigger the score. Let's load up our first question. This band was formed in which city in the late 80s? Let's see if any of you were on the money. Wes! I can't believe you chose these questions. Why? Which funky band is led by this extravagant singer? Quick heads up, people! Last time I checked, this game was called Fastest Finger, not Boar Bars Two Tears. <laughs> Questarino numero trio, if you please. What disco song was the only Van McCoy single to hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100? your collective heads. You're all wrong. Who released albums including Homework and Discovery? <laughs> Wes! Thankfully being correct, still Trump speed in this round. Who's not a member of this high energy dance band? Come on, guys. This round's called Fastest Finger, not Take All Day to Answer Finger. <laughs> Two players crushing every question. They're monstering the opposition. Where is it fun to stay? A right rush for the answer. <laughs> Some points at last. I was beginning to worry. Which city do Daft Punk call home? Two clean cues all round. Nicely played. What disco hit from 1978's The Wiz made it to number 41 on the Billboard Hot 100 in 1978? <laughs> the 
there go the last points of that eventful round. People, people, that round is finito. Let's have a butchers at the standings. Sitting in the cheap seats. Third. Second. And no change at the top. Hightower. No! You need all the help you can get after that round. You choose. Questions about some awesome folk coming right up. You don't want to be the one holding it when it goes off. So keep your wits about you as we play Short Fuse. Here comes a bomb. Answer right to lose it. What is the name shared by all five of George Foreman's brilliant sons? Which boyfriend of Kate Moss first came to fame with the Libertines? No, no, no! In which country was hunky film star Antonio Banderas born? Oh, come on! Which British singer... That's it! Brooklyn, Romeo, and... No. Who are the romantically linked... St Wrong. What are Kylie and Jason... You can't afford to mess around. This is what happens if you do. Oh! Here comes the next biggity bomb. Who was Queen Elizabeth II's first grandchild? Ooh, hot stuff. On May 6, 1950, Nicky Hilton became the first man to... Good answer. How much jail time was it girl Paris Hilton ordered to serve in 2007? Nice. What is the first name of the daughter of celebrity couple Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes? Sorry. Which musician and man about... Oh, it's a bloodbath! Please, won't someone think of the points? Okay, last bomb. Here it comes. What is the name of Nicole Richie's firstborn baby daughter? Not it. Who drew gasps with her swan dress to the Oscars? No! Whose reality show is subtitled it Wes! That was the final bomb of the round. Feel free to get your shrapnel wounds seen to now. And with that, you've seen the last of the last but one round. Time to take stock of the rankings before the B finish. At the bottom of the board. Third. Second, and still in pole position, Hightower! Time for one of you to launch yourself into the Quiztacular Cosmos. It's the final countdown. We're going to convert those hard-earned points into time. The more points you've scored, the more time you get. But 
you have to answer fast to avoid <laughs> elimination! Ready for the question? Here it comes! What country is Shintoism from? <laughs> the player with the fastest correct answer has time added and their podium rises! What genre of movies are spoofed in I'm Gonna Get You Sucker? Give me a wrong answer and you lose a chunk of time. Hit the floor and you're out of here. What is the correct name of a song by the police? <laughs> the U.S. Defense Department has its headquarters in which shapely building? <laughs> oh, nice little leapfrogging there. What 1980s toys were stars of their own blockbuster movie in 2007? People, pace is picking up now. Buzz faster! Which band has members Maxi Jazz, Sister Bliss, and Rolo? Hightower! Remind me, did you start this round in first place? In which continent would you find the city of Helsinki? Wiz! You're at the lowest point. Careful now. In which world can you see Kevin Costner starring as the Mariner? Longens means two chunks of time down the drain. We have the facts and we're voting yes was a 2000 release by what indie rock band? Gosh, it's all go at the bottom. Make no mistakes. What layer of the atmosphere has a big hole in it? Let's make this more interesting. I'm slashing the answer time, so step it up. A 2008 Western directed by Ed Harris was what? <laughs> A double elimination. How devastating for you both. Bye! What does the name of the electronic band Kraftwerk mean in German? <laughs> Somehow, you're still with us. Britain fought the Falklands War against which country? Battle no more. Our final player has been eliminated. Ladies and gents, we have ourselves a winner. And that means it's prize time. Buzz, show us the goods. Tonight's prize is X-Ray Specs! Right, so, how do you drive... Ah, let's see what those contestants really look like. Ooh. Still, must be something worth... Hello! Ooh. These are far too good to just... Hey! A three-headed monkey! Ha-ha, suckers!